Spotify production.
this right here is a sweet potato potato <laughs> i'm so glad i bought it i'm not bought potatoes since i came to this house i just saw it i'm like yes i need to get this it wasn't even in my budget now i'm gonna go ahead to prepare my okra soup using part of this not all of it because the soup is not much and some of the pomo I have my onion, my garlic, tomatoes, such a tomato, so tomato paste, ugu leaf, my ugu leaf. Um, I have the dry fish and the panla, <laughs> smoked fish here. I have the pomoda that I've already uh, boiled with some pepper. And here, behind that, I have iru. So I'll be making my stew now, my sakwa stew. <laughs>
What's up? What's good? <laughs> Ooh. I'm beginning to feel like I have a home. Like I'm, I'm beginning to feel like this is a home. Making my sitting room my bedroom is like the best decision I ever made. This bed is a 4x6 and trust me, it could never fit into that bedroom. The bedroom is so tiny, <laughs> like it's super tiny. All my life, this is like the tiniest bedroom I've ever been in, like I've ever lived in, the tiniest. Well, I should have done this sooner, like since I just moved, since I moved my bed, like I moved my bed into this sitting room, I've just been feeling so happy. I don't even know how to express my feeling, but yeah, it is what it is. I actually intended to talk to you guys earlier on, but life has just been life in. So I just, I haven't spoken to you guys in this vlog at all. So uh, yeah, um, Anyway, done my skincare. Today was such a long day. Ah, I hate days that I have to cook from scratch. And see, eh, Nigerian meals are so time consuming to make. Nigerian meals, I don't know about other dishes, but Nigerian dishes, they are so time consuming. Like you literally have to spend hours in the kitchen. So, well, it is what it is. You know, because of my you know the struggle with my appetite for the past weeks i've not been like cooking 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 you know hey guys please eh, give milo some grace milo is a well-behaved kitten so what happened in my last vlog that he peed on my bed <laughs> that was partially my fault though it was partially my fault i didn't even realize in time until I was talking to someone and it was like maybe the litter sand or the litter box was dirty and I'm like oh I forgot to put the litter box with him in the bedroom that was why that thing happened that was why he peed on my bed because as at the time I was filming I heard him banging on the door because I closed the door so he wouldn't come out and you know shake my tripod the reason why he's not shaking my tripod right now it's because I make sure he's overfed. So he's not been making noise today. I overfed him. I gave him like the head of the fish, you know, from from the food I prepared today. I gave him the head of the fish. So it's just in one corner, just lying down. He's not been jumping all around the place. He's overfed. He's now calm and quiet. So Milo has never done such a thing. He would never pee on the bed. The reason why he did that was because his little box was not in the room with him. Now, cats are very, very smart. The cat I have is not the cat that goes outside. So, I have to make sure that Milo has everything in this house, including his toilet, which is the little box and the little sand. So, cats are so smart. When I first got Milo, um, the lady I got him from was like, put the little sand somewhere in the room. He will perceive it and he knows that's where he's supposed to pee and poo. So he knows. He's so smart. Cats are smart. So unless there's no little sand, eh -heh, that's when he can start peeing and pooing everywhere. Milo, are you listening? I'm, I'm letting them know that you are not a bad boy, okay? Ah, he winked. <laughs> So yeah, that explains it because I did not put the little sand and a um, box. What am I even saying? In the bedroom, he peed on my bed. So another day again, yeah, like the next day or like the next two days, I wanted to film again. I put him back in the room and then I put the little box in the room. Before I could finish, Marlo already pulled in the box because it was clean when I put it there. He already like did did his thing you know in the little sand so milo is a good cat he would not pee on my bed so for everyone um for everyone that i was saying why did i tear out the leather 
on my bed. Wait, am I? So, you expect me to sleep on a bed with nylon? Like you want the sound of the nylon to be disturbed? How will I be able? I, I can't sleep on that kind of bed, though, honestly. As I don't need to buy a rubber to put on my bed because he would not pee on my bed. He has never done such a thing in his life. My is like nine months. He's nine months. He's still a kitten, but he has never done anything like that. Please, please, please give my Milo some grace. He's not a bad cat. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to go to bed. I'm going to talk to you guys in my next vlog. Huh? I don't know if this vlog is going to be sh short or long. I don't know anyway, Sha. I'll talk to you guys maybe tomorrow. Why my next vlog? If this vlog ends now, then I'll talk to you guys in my next vlog. But if it doesn't, I'ma talk to you tomorrow. Alright, kisses. Bye. Good night. <laughs>